Hi everyone. For those of you who don't know me, I am Miss Young. Last year I worked in year three. This is my panda. He uh, always sits in my book corner with me, so he's here to read our story with us today, which is a story called Cave Baby. And this is written by two authors, one very famous author called Julia Donaldson, who you'll probably recognise, and one author who is called Emily Gravitt. Emily Gravitt is one of my favourite authors. She actually lives in Brighton in the UK, which is where I used to live before I moved to Dubai. So the story's called Cave Baby. You can see from the um, picture on the front, we've got a mammoth and we've got a baby riding the mammoth. So that might give you some clues about what the story is about. Cave Baby's Lucky. He lives inside a cave with his mum, who's good at painting, and his dad, who's very brave. And a saber-toothed tiger. A hyena and a hare. And a great grey woolly mammoth and a big brown bear. Hey, baby's lonely. Nobody will play. Dad's busy being brave. Mum says, keep safe. Everything is boring. Then suddenly it's not. For a corner of the cave, he finds a brush and pot. Spots on the hyena, stripes on the hare, stars on the tiger, squiggles on the bear, zigzags for the mammoth. This is lots of fun. Look at all of the drawings he's doing. I wonder if any of you like art as much as Cave Baby does. But mum and dad are furious and say, look what he's done. Cave mum fetches water, she mutters, and as she wipes, no more spots and squiggles, no more stars and stripes. Cave dad, dad wags his finger. If you don't take care, a mammoth's going to throw you to the big brown bear. Mm. I wonder who the big brown bear is. Cave baby's restless. He's feeling wide awake. A long grey trunk comes sneaking in, all wiggly like a snake. Where are you taking me? Where? Tell me where. Are you going to throw me to the big brown bear? Oh dear, I think cave baby's worried. Stripes in the forest. A tiger's lurking there. Don't throw me to the tiger or the big brown bear. Crashing in the bushes, a hare is leaping there. Maybe he's escaping from the big brown bear. I think Cave Baby is really worried about this big brown bear, isn't he? A cackle in the bracken. A hyena's laughing there. Has he heard a joke about the big brown bear? A cave in the hillside. I wonder who lives there. I hope it's not. Don't let it be the big brown bear. Now if you notice here, look, we've got a cave and the cave has sort of been shaped. It sort of looks like a bear, doesn't it? I wonder what's going to happen when he gets in. The cave is bright with moonlight. The walls are plain and bare. Snoring in the shadows, someone's sleeping there. Cave baby's worried. He doesn't understand until the woolly, woolly mammoth pops a paintbrush in his hand. A five-legged tiger, a long curly hair, horns on a hyena, a beard on the bear, a moustache on a mammoth. This is lots of fun. Then the mammoth wakes his family and says, look what he's done. A 
and they rollick and they frolic, they trumpet and they crash, they wade into the water, they roll and romp and splash. They shake the baby by the hand, then lift their trunks and wave as the mammoth picks it, him up again and takes him to his cave. Cave baby's happy. He's fast asleep in bed. He dreams about the tiger with stripes of pink and red and a grass green hyena and a sky blue hair and a yellow, a moon yellow mammoth and a small brown bear. After all, he had nothing to be worried about, did he? I hope you enjoyed that story, everybody. And I would very much recommend that you look up some other Emily Gravit books. I hope Panda enjoyed the story as well. I was using him to rest on a little bit there. Sorry, Panda. Bye.